So this week's project is making uh, bisque stamps. These are carved out of leather hard clay and they will be bisque fired when they are finished and then you will have a tool forever. Uh, in the coming weeks we've got some projects coming up which will need these. So you can make one, you can make 20, whatever you want to do. Uh, just start with a ball of clay here and I will begin by pinching out a handle for the stamp like this. It's kind of elongate that. And then the head here, we're going to flatten this down and you can make the heads uh, any shape you want, diamond, rectangle. Um, I am making mine so that they kind of, the designs interlock and fit together. So I'm shooting for a square. Kind of reclaim these corners here and come down and articulate those. The idea with making your own stamp um, is that you know it's unique. You know, there's, there's plenty of stamps for sale out there. I don't know where. Skippy McGruber's Crab Shack and Pottery Stamp Emporium, whatever. But to me, it's like, you, you know, those designs are very familiar and you see them showing up on lots of people's work and they kind of all blend together. So by making your own, you know it's different and you made it. So that is kind of a soft square at this point. Um, I will come back when this is a leather hard and trim down these edges to be a sharp square. But that's the idea. So we got that one. I made a few others here. And you can actually, on your board, just make sure it's a smooth surface, kind of burnish this on the table and that polishes up real nice. So some of the, let's get these out of here. Some of the ones that I've made so far, I've probably got a hundred. Uh, this is kind of a basket weave. Like that. This one, this is interlocking bricks. So the mortar lines are left high and there's texture down below. So when we stamp that, the bricks will be raised. Just a little funky shape here. Petals, like that. This is the alchemist symbol for copper. So you can come back and you can see on this one that central shape is smooth and then these are textured. There's a funky one. That one. And this kind of Fleur de Lis type stamp. So um, that's kind of where we're headed. Um, after you make these initial shapes, just let these sit out. We want these to get a firm leather hard. Uh, when we start carving on these, you do not want any kind of sticky clay. It should just be dust coming off. So get some of those prepped, let them sit out for a while and then we'll pick this up when these are nice and hard. All right, so this has had several hours to set up. It is like a firm leather hard now. I ended up just putting these out in the sun. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is put a hole through the top of this. Just kind of shave this down a little bit and come in like this, the fiddling knife. through one side come 
one through the other. Clean that up. And then I want to articulate this edge. Uh, if you don't have one of these, you can use a fiddling knife to just kind of peel the sides. But... All right, so we've got, got a good looking square here. Um, you can actually just draw on these with a pen or a Sharpie. So I'm going to take a Sharpie here and I think we will I'm gonna start out with like a large circle here and then I want to echo this kind of starting from a tighter point. and opening up a bit. Like that. So that's just some rough marks to give you some lines. Uh, we're just gonna peel into it. I have found that uh, the key to a good interlocking stamp is when you break the edges, right? So if you like you see the edge of that or any of these like when when these marks come over the edge that is those edges are broken it doesn't stop within the frame and that just ends up leading to a, a much more interesting stamp so let's go So here is the finished stamp. Cut it into a square. So uh, anything that is high here will be an impression into the clay and anything that is cut low is what will be raised. So if you notice while I was carving, every single line is beveled out both ways. That is so that you don't trap clay uh, down into the grooves. You want it nice and open like that. So this is fairly thick right here. Uh, so let these dry a long time before they're fired. But that's the idea. Uh, you can get into any shape you want. Like I said, rec rectangle, diamonds, circles, whatever. So 